Hey guys, welcome back to the blog. It has been a while, so uh, just not really been in a place that I've been wanting to make any videos. I've been quite busy, quite a bit going on with the end of college, and just kept me really, really busy, and not in a place where I wanted to make any videos. Didn't really have much time to make videos, so it just didn't happen. I wasn't making anything, and I haven't had any new sort of vape stuff come in, so no vape mail to actually report on. And didn't really have much time to make any videos, but I'm back. I'm going to make a concerted effort to start making some new videos now. Uh, so I have been focused on a few things. First off, let me let, let, let me update you on the whole college situation. So the last video that I made, I was talking about the marks from college. So I was waiting for my marks to come in from college. I was going to get them on this Friday. Uh, so I've got those marks now, and I got straight A's. So straight A's through my course, spot on. Uh, so I was after an ABB to get into uni the university I wanted to go to, and I got straight A's, AAA, which means that I get to go to the, co the university I want to doing the course that I want to. So I'm going to be going to Edinburgh University. I'm going to be studying ancient and medieval history, which is something that I'm really passionate about, something I'm really into, and really looking forward to go do this. Uh, some reading list has been released. I've already ordered up a couple of books from that list so I can get get started on the reading. And I'm just really chuffed for myself that I managed to get a full straight A course. So that's what's going on there. Uh, obviously the last week of college was quite busy. A few things to get finished off, get wrapped up. But that's over. This is uh, now Monday. This is a Monday where I haven't had to go anywhere or do anything. So it's been a Monday off which is really, really good. And tomorrow, which is Tuesday, I'm actually going through to Edinburgh Uni for a visit. Uh, the program that I've, that I've been on through the college, uh, which is the Scottish Wider Access Program or SWAP, which is a uh, go check out their website if you want to if you're interested. It's a program that's there for mature students to get them back into education. So this is a sort of SWAP meeting for all the all the students that are going on to Edinburgh University. So they're there's a few people from my course that are going. There's also uh, going to be loads of other people from other courses, not just going on to do history, but going on to do other subjects, but all within Edinburgh University. So we're just going to go along. Uh, there's a free lunch, which is always good. Uh, us students, we like free food. And uh, just going to go have a visit, have a look around. Uh, I went on an open day a while back. I did mention it in the vlog. And this is going to be a sort of follow-up to that. Uh, so, on to the vape stuff. So, there's not been a huge amount going on with vaping. I've not got anything new in. The only new thing that I got in was a new juice, uh, which is from Nova Vapes. It's called Solace. Uh, this was the, Nova Vapes do a weekly deal uh, where they reduce the price on one liquid. Uh, so, this was one that was on the weekly deal, and it is a lemon cheesecake. And it's actually really good. Uh, I should really, if you look at the color, it's still quite light. They recommend a three week steep, but because I was running out of juice, I went, I'll crack one and just try it. And it is quite nice. So what have I been vaping on? Well, this is where it gets quite big. There's quite a lot I've been vaping on recent. So, the Avenger, of course. So that's the Avenger there. It's running with a 0.17 coil on it. And I'm running it at 60 watts there. Looking really good as ever. Got a few scratches on the paintwork coming up, and it's been a pretty good device so far. Got that loaded up with some sweet Victorian chew. Uh, I've only got three juices, th three juice flavors at the moment. Uh, so I've got sweet Victorian chew, I've got a bottle of that left, I've got two bottles of the Graham's Custard, which is one of my favorites, and I've got a new one that's come in, which is Solace, which is this one right here. Uh, this is a lemon cheesecake, really, really nice lemon cheesecake. Uh, it's meant to be steep for about three weeks, but this has only had about a week steep. Well, not even that, it's had about five days steep, but it's, the flavor's still coming through. But I've got another three bottles that I'm still letting steep, so obviously as the flavor improves, I'll get more from them. So I've got the Avenger that I'm using, I've got the Pen 22. Still in rotation. This is a nice little driving vape. This is one I use a lot. So I've got that in rotation. And then we go on to the squonks. 
Now, squonks that I'm using, I've got a few squonks that are in rotation at the moment. So, one that I've got is obviously the Pulse 80. This, this is the latest one. I've still not done a review for this, but there's a lot I'm going to get into that review. So, I've still got, I'm still testing this thing, to be honest. Uh, so, I've got, at the minute, I've got the loop on here. So, I've actually put a new build into this today. It's coming in at 0 0.44 ohm. Uh, let's see if that'll focus. And I'm running it at 50 watts. So, I'll just take a quick hit. And yeah, clouds for days with this thing. Uh, the Loop is an RDA that I really like. It's a really good flavor delivery. I did originally run this with the Pulse 24 because, well, it's the Pulse. And then I switched over and I had my Dead Rabbit on it for a while. And I've just today switched over to Loop, put a fresh build in the Loop, and just set it up. And it does look pretty good on there, actually, i got to say. Um, and flavor for days. Loving that. Uh, so the other squonks that I've been using, uh, so I've got the Pulse 80 there, and then I've got my original Pulse back with the Pulse 24 on here. So when I took the Pulse 24 off that, I was like, where am I going to put this? Uh, it's got a nice build in it. I like the Pulse 24. I went, no, I'm going to rock up with the Pulse, put it back in the Pulse, and then I can do a direct comparison between the two devices, which is something that's going to be part of the review. So uh, in order to do that, I had to get it up and running again. And this is also loaded up with that Graham's Custard as well, so that's been going pretty good. Uh, so, got the two pulses going, but I've also got uh, another squonk going. Now, as I said, I did have the Dead Rabbit on the Pulse 80, so I had my Dead Rabbit all set up. So I've gone and popped it on the Athena. So I've got the Dead Rabbit on the Athena. It does look pretty good on there. It's a bit of a colour mismatch at the minute, but if only I had a blue drip tip on there, that would probably look a bit better, or a black one, but I do quite like these resin drip tips that I've got for it. I've got a black and red one, but the black, the red just would not fit at all. But, all combined, I've got this with the Graham's Custard as well. It's got a nice build in it. And yeah, uh, that's working absolutely grand. So I've got the three squonks that are running there. Uh, now, I did previously have the Loop and the Dead Rabbit on my, uh, on my Macs. So uh, I did have the Dead Rabbit on this Mac. So I've changed this, I've got my Compart on here, uh, my Competition RDA. This was the RDA that actually came with the uh, mech that actually went bang. So, and this RDA, this mech didn't come with an RDA. So I've put the two together. Now on my mechs, I'm actually using that Solace, so that's where I'm using that juice. So, yeah, I think this battery's starting to go a bit. But yeah, that Solace is lovely. Uh, it's a nice, nice, nice juice. I might do a review on the juice once it's fully steeped, but that's a good little combo. I like this little red band at the top here. It kind of sets off, and it looks pretty decent on there. Uh, but the other mech I've been using, uh, the Rogue has come, the Rogue Alien. This has been pretty much a constant mech since I got it. Uh, I did have the loop on here. I took the loop off today, and uh, I was thinking, what RDA will I put on this? Now, I've got a couple others that I could have done, but I went, no, I'm going to go back to the original one that came with it. This, too, is loaded up with Solace. And... Um, That's hitting like a train. So that's what I've been using. I've also been using the uh, RX200 with the Big Baby Beast on there. Uh, only reason I'm using that is because I've got a ton of coils for it. <laughs> I've got a ton of coils for the Baby Beast. I've got like two packs of coils I haven't even opened yet. So I'm putting that into circulation purely to use up the coils. At some point I will probably put the Baby Beast onto the Avenger because I'm going to run out of Avenger coils. Uh, but I'll come back to that in a minute. I want to talk about the Avenger a bit. And also in in circulation have been the Smog Fit, so the Wee Pen, and the uh, Penguin. So the Keyboard Penguin as well. So I've been using both of those uh, pod systems also. Uh, I've not got them up here. They're on charge at the moment. Uh, and that's purely because I've got pods for them. I've got tanks for them to use. So I'm just using up what I've got. At the minute, I'm in a point where I've got that many coils for... The, all these sort of sub ohm tanks and pod devices that if I don't use them they're just going to go to waste so I'm going to use all basically use up all the pre-made coils that I've got before I stop using them 
uh, before I put them in, take them out of rotation. Now I have taken a couple of things out of rotation. Uh, so I've taken out the uh, simple mod with the Freak Show. This is just purely down to the fact that I don't need three mechs going at once. So two mechs is enough. I could probably get away with just one mech, but I like having two. So I've taken that out of circulation. I've also taken the drip box out of circulation. Uh, this is because uh, you get the pre-made coils for this where they've already pre-made it and wicked it and everything. And they're honestly the best coils that you can get for this. I've tried to put my own in. I just can't quite get it working right. It's because it is a bit of an awkward one with this because you need it only works down to 0 0.4. Uh, so you need to have a 0 0.4 ohm resistance. And at that when you're trying to get that on your own build, it is really, really awkward to do, especially considering the post holes are so small. Uh, so I've not actually got a battery in this now, it's out of circulation, it's gone into my out of circulation drawer, uh, which also has a few other devices that I've not been using, uh, not been using for a while, so things like the Nudge. Now, I don't have an issue with the Nudge, I have an issue with the Serpent. Uh, so if I actually had another 22, uh, 22mm uh, RDA that I could bang on there with a squonk pin, then I would probably put that back in circulation because the device itself was pretty good. It was just the RDA that wasn't. So uh, that might be something I'll be looking to get is a proper 22 to go on there. The 22 Dead Rabbit or the Pulse 22 would probably be really good on there. Uh, so I do want to have a little talk about what's been going on with the Avenger because uh, kind of an Avenger update because I've been using this quite a lot and since I've done the review. So I'm just going to do a quick update on that uh, to finish this vlog off. So I've been using this for a little while now, uh, I did the full review on it once I got it, and it's a really really good device, I do like it a lot. Uh, let's start off with the tank, so the tank I'm really loving, I'm loving the flavour that I'm getting off this, these mesh coils that you get for it are brilliant, but then the standard coils are really good as well, I don't have any issue with the coils other than the fact they burn out really quick. So I had the first mesh coil in here. I got a replacement pack of mesh coils. I got three in the pack, £10 for three, kind of on the pricey side, but they are mesh coils. So uh, I put one in, I managed to get two weeks out of that, and I thought, oh, brilliant, two weeks from one coil, that's going to be great. But then the second coil, I got one week. So pretty much a full week on the second coil, and then I'm starting to get a burn here. I'm like, oh no. So that was it. Uh, so I changed it, and then the third coil, I got three days. That's it, three days. So three days off coil is not good at all, especially when you're paying £10 for three. That means you're going to be getting get through a pack of coils nearly in a week. Oh, just over a week. So that's not very long, and they don't seem to be uniform at all, because I didn't make any changes between the coils. The only thing that would have changed was the juice, uh, but the juices are all the same. Uh, levels so it was 70 30 and 3 milligram nicotine it's all sweet juices that I've been using in this because I like my sweet juices so there shouldn't have been any difference from the juice side of things there might have been slight variants but nothing that should have burnt really quick uh, I understand that sweet juices will burn the uh, coils out faster because they gunk out quicker but even that said if I got two weeks out of one coil I should have got the same from other coils so uh, to get three days out of one is kind of disheartening and I do really like this tank so that's a bit of a shame because I do like these mesh coils in this tank it really delivers really well as you can see uh, so the actual device itself uh, size wise fits really good in my hand it is quite a heavy device but it's got those two 2700s in there uh, so for that size and that weight, you're actually getting epic battery life on it. It's very rare that this will run out on me uh, in a day. Uh, I charge the batteries off when I need to charge them. I take them out of the device and put, put them on my charger. And it's absolutely fine for that. Uh, you can see on the front I've got a couple of scratches uh, where the paints come off around here and here. Uh, and then the big bone of, my, of this device is the voice control. Uh, not not just the voice control, it's specifically to the lock, lock mechanism on this. Now I did say this in my review, and living with this device quite a bit since the review, I've discovered a real pain in the fact that you can't lock the device. Uh, so what's happened is things like I've put, put it down in my car, it's in one of the cup holders, 
and I got to take it out and because it's been knocked in the car as I'm driving around it's put the wattage up so I got to take it and I'm suddenly at 90 watts uh, so that is a bit of a pain the only way to lock the device uh, is to tell it to lock and it doesn't work for me so uh, I'll show you just now uh, hello iJoy lock device lock device lock device lock device and look the microphone's gone off so it doesn't want to lock for me and there's no way to lock it five clicks does not lock it five clicks turns it off so this is the only safe way to actually do it is to actually turn it off and then you get the there we go it loads up it is a quick load so it doesn't take long before we can actually fire but to actually have to turn it off every time instead of being able to lock it is a real pain uh, especially when you're carrying it around and these uh, adjustment buttons are quite quick quite reactive and because it's very quick at doing the round robin so there we go we just went straight up to 80 watts there back down to 50 hello iJoy auto power see that works really well and let's just put it straight to 60 watts which is the perfect one so some commands work really fine the one that i have trouble with is the one that i would really like to have an alternate for so it's like every other option that you've got on this device with the voice control you've got manual options to do it the only one you don't is the lock and that's really awkward uh, i'm not sure if it's my accent not sure if it's my voice but it just doesn't like that command so it's the one that I have a lot of trouble with. Uh, but other than that, the device is holding up pretty good. Uh, I'm going to keep using it. Uh, whether I keep the tank on it when I run out of coils, I'm not sure. Uh, I've kind of come to the decision that I'm not going to buy any additional coils until I've used all the coils I've got. Because uh, I've got tanks with coils that are not even set up at the minute. And I've just got a box full of coils. I've got a lot of coils that I've had in tanks. And... I've only had them in for a short period of time before I've changed them to test them because I've been testing other ones for reviews and so on. So I need to go through all those coils and make sure that they're all dead and chuck them as I, as I get to them. So for example, my big baby beast, I know, I've got about eight different coils. I don't know how good they are. So I've gone through all these coils. I've washed them. I've cleaned them, given them the uh, hot water rinse. So that's where you run them under the hot water tap. Uh, clean out all the gunk and then you leave them to dry for 24 hours at least and then you treat them like fresh coil again and I've done that with all the coils I've got there so I've got some coils for this I've got some coils for the baby beast I've got some coils from some other devices as well and I'm just going to work through all the coils and make sure that they are burnt completely that they are dead before I chuck them and then I'll get down to a point where I've only got two or three coils left at which point I'll buy some more I just I just trying to have it sort of clear out and then slim down of what I'm using on a daily basis because as you've seen with all the stuff I've been vaping I'm actually using 10 devices at the moment which is a lot to be actually to be using uh, the squonk devices are okay the mechs are okay to keep in rotation and I will always keep some sort of device in rotation as well some sort of sub ohm but with the squonks with the mechs that's my own coils I'm building on them and I'm re-wicking them which is absolutely fine, but when you're buying the coils in, uh, it's not so good. So that's kind of the plan for these at the minute. So that's going to wrap it up for today. Uh, pretty much it for today's vlog. Sorry it's been so long since I put a vlog up. I have been busy, but now that college is over, I'm going to get back on a more stable recording schedule. Uh, definitely going to be getting the pulse review done soon i'm also going to get a pulse comparison between the two devices uh just to give an idea of my thoughts on the pair of them because you do know that i as you do know i like the pulse a lot a really good device and the pulse 80 was one i was re waiting for for a long time and i didn't want to rush to the review on it uh, because i knew my review was going to be biased because it was a device that I've been looking forward to for a long time, I didn't want to just jump in and go, yeah, it's brilliant. I wanted to actually use the device. I wanted to get used to it. I wanted to find if I could find any problems with it. So I didn't want to just go, here it is, here's the review. I want to do an actual in-depth living with it review. So
so that will be coming very soon there is a firmware update to go on there uh, firmware has been released for it but i haven't updated mine yet uh, part of the reason i'm not updated mine is i want to do that in the review so i want to review it as it comes from the box and then update it and re-review it in the same review so it'll be a double sort of double review so you can see the two options there uh, and then I want to do a comparison between the Pulse 80 and the original Pulse so a bit of a comparison there that will be coming so that's two videos at least that I know I want to get done I'll probably get them done at some point this week uh, hopefully that will be the case uh, you might have noticed through this video we have been sitting at my desk and not at the chair we have got uh, some artwork on the wall now uh, this has been something Lewis has actually given me you know Lewis he's been on the videos a few times uh, he gave me a picture to go on the wall I quite like it it's back there it's above the couch uh, but the reason we're at my desk is I've had a bit of a reorganization in the flat and a few things that have moved around and some additions and I've got these t these fold-out tables which is where I normally have the camera so it's sitting at a higher level so it's about eye level when I'm sitting on the couch uh, but one of those has moved into the bedroom as a bedside table because I reorganized the bedroom The other one is sitting in the corner of the living room with a mini system on it uh, So those two tables are no longer available for me to just put the camera on and because of that uh, The other table in the living room is my coffee table, which is about knee height So it's either going to be uh, sitting up at the desk for the time being or until I can get something else sort of figured out for organization uh it'll be up here or it'll be a strange angle where, you, where you're looking up my nose so i think this is probably the better angle for the time being uh but that's going to wrap it up for today so we're going to go with all that usual good stuff like comment share subscribe uh if you've got any questions uh leave me in the comments below or hit me up on twitter i want to do a q a video so send me your questions uh just anything you want to ask about vaping about my life about me uh, throw them down and I'll get a Q&A video put together at some point uh, I'll start collecting them uh, so feel free to do that there is uh, also an email address in the description if you want to reach out and, and contact me through that uh, so of course there's the Twitter that's the at one purple mongoose uh, jump on over there I post on there when I put videos up uh, Occasionally I put up a post. I've not been that active of recent, uh, but I will get more active uh, on there. So feel free to jump on over and follow me over there. And uh, we'll do an as ever, this time with the Pulse 80 and the loop. So as ever. Vape on.